Hey, what's up? It's KB here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best Android emulator for low-end PC. So the Android emulator name is Mumu Nebula. If you go to their official website, Mumu global.com they actually have multiple choices actually multiple android emulators they have the mumu player x we have the mumu player normal with the 64-bit version the 32-bit version and actually my favorite android emulator is mumu player x because this is the one and only android emulator which runs on latest android android 12 and the performance is like top notch. This is my favorite Android emulator. If you have a good PC, try the Mumu Player X. If it works for you, just go with it. If just in case if it doesn't work for you, then you know maybe you're looking for a low-end PC Android emulator. You can actually go up to product and then uh, select Mumu Nebula. And here you can download the Mumu Nebula. And this Android emulator is made for low-end PC. Even if you're using high-end PC, it will still work, but you know, it is just specially designed for low-end PC. If you don't have a virtualization on your PC, uh, then it will work, okay? Even if you have it, it will still work. If you have a Hyper-V enabled on your PC, it will still work. If you don't have a GPU, it will still work. It will work on almost any condition. Now, this is the Mumu Nebula. Looks and, you know, feels just like regular Android emulators. Actually, all the Android emulators, you know, have the same interface and everything. So if you go to the settings from here, you can change the settings. If you go to advanced from here, you can switch in between the DirectX or OpenGL and you can configure the Android emulator for the lowest performance to highest. Uh, by default, it will come as a medium, but you know, uh, just in case your PC is like really, really slow, you can go with the lowest performance configuration. Okay, and you can also enable the high frame rates uh, in game up to 120 fps great just take that and save and you may have to restart it so i'm gonna restart it and uh, this thing is actually 32 bit so don't expect to uh, run 64 bit games or apps okay there are some you know games some apps which requires you to have a 64 uh, bit android if you want a 64 bit android emulator you'll need a good pc because it will require a better cpu better gpu and everything but for you know most of the 32 bits uh, android games and apps it's it's going to be enough we have the google play store here from here you can actually check which games you can run let's say you're like pubg uh, gamer right pubg uh, it should be here right yeah pubg mobile is here this is one of the most popular and uh, you know little heavy game for phone and it works yeah yeah call of duty also works minecraft works almost every game that you know uh, will work actually so there is no big deal having a 32-bit version of the you know android emulator uh, here is a really simple you know game that i have downloaded uh, this is the car game and you can see yeah everything is running fine okay i'm gonna go to cpu usage you can see not too much <laughs> only like 10 percent let's say it's not even 10 percent but still i mean eight to ten percent something all right yeah that's it uh, i think i don't need to talk any further uh, hope you enjoyed it and one more thing i want to say is that mumu player have like multiple uh, Android emulators. If you can, try the Mumu Player X first. It's still in beta, but trust me, this thing is the best Android emulator. Uh, this is my favorite one. I have made a video on Mumu Player X, and this thing is, in my opinion, at least for me, is the best Android emulator. You will not be disappointed. Try this out if you have a decent computer, decent PC which supports uh, this. Uh, if you want the best of best android emulator yeah you need to try the mumu player x uh, if not you know you're looking for the low end pc android emulator you have the low end pc then go with the mumu nebula try this out once and then you can decide by yourself is it good or not and i am pretty sure that in most of the cases it will be good because no virtualization needed works with the hyper v and it is designed to run on almost any pc 
I mean, low-end PC, not any. I mean, if you bring your PC from 1990 or something, <laughs> it won't run, but you know, you got the point. I, I, I'm talking too much now. <laughs> That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comments too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.